All right, boys and girls, Grant Rothberg from Houston, Texas here. This is Rothberg Agent Accelerator. I'm going to show you one of the coolest updates that's going to save us money using AI. This is a glimpse of the type of stuff that's going to be possible in the future, but you can use it right now to save you a bunch of money on each and every one of your listings. And I think it can be able to help you actually convert some more business. So uh, we're using Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, also known as Nano Banana. And this is a really cool tool where you can use, um, gosh, you can use the capabilities of this thing to make just about anything you can imagine with your mind. And what's really cool about this is it's going to preserve what was in the original image and, and edit the new things you want put in there, which is a big change. If you use ChatGPT or some of these other tools for image generation from AI, uh, it will, it will use the original image as inspiration, but it does modify and change it. And you never get like an exact one-to-one -one copy each time. And that's frustrating for consistency, but we can fix all that now with this nano banana update. And I love Google. They're leaning into it now with this banana logo. So let me show you how we do this. I'll upload this file here, and this is a uh, listing photo. So we're gonna take this, and a lot of us spend money in real estate on sunset photos, um, you know, things like that. Maybe you're gonna add lighting to it. You're gonna touch up some details outside, brighten the grass, you know, warm it up a little bit, uh, make it a little more green. So I just put in here a photo of a real listing. So I'm putting in this little prompt, and we're telling it to edit this image to give it a nice sunset background for the sky and turn the lights on inside the house so they glow through the windows and any other exterior lights. Let's add that. Uh, make the, let's, let's say this, uh, adjust the lighting to make it consistent with the time of day. Okay. Let's say just the lighting and shadows. Uh, and I'm going to say here, I just uh, edit this, uh, real estate listing image and we'll submit this right here. So nano banana then goes to work. And this is really cool because this used to take like a minute or two using chat GPT or even using, um, uh, using like imagine Four, some of the other tools that are built into Google Gemini. But now I mean, you can see here, like in seconds, this thing is done and our original image is here. We can take a look at this and then look at our edited image. It, it's the same house and it's removed the shadows here that we had from being midday. Um, it has added lights where they belong. It's got light coming through all these windows appropriately. This is pretty good. Now I may make one more edit here. I may say like, um, you know, brighten up the house a bit. Let's try that to see if maybe we get a little bit more detail on this thing. But with one simple prompt, five, 10, 15 seconds later, I mean, I should have timed this thing. We've got an image now that is usable for a listing. And I mean, this is even better. You can see we went from a little warmer color here to just a little bit cooler, a little bit brighter. We could maybe tweak this in a photo editor if you wanted to maybe increase the exposure, but this is great. We could download this right now. It does have the Gemini watermark on here. And you put a, a caption note in there, this image was AI enhanced. But what we've done here is something that maybe would have cost you anywhere from five to 50 bucks per image to edit and make a sunset image is now completely free to you if you're using something like Gemini. This is incredible. So another use case for this one, that's awesome for your listing photos. I, I love this idea. So let's go ahead and grab another image, another example. Uh, let's grab a house that has, here's one that's got paint colors that are ugly. And let's say, uh, change the paint on the walls to a, uh, white color. Okay. Let's just do that. So maybe we've got one where we have one of those really bold images that, uh, somebody's used purple paint or something really, um, idiosyncratic like that, or red walls, which are always so tough to paint. Uh, and we can go in now and we can instantly reimagine what this would look like with a new wall color and bam. There it is. Nano Banana has given us a new and improved version of this. This looks so much better. You can see like, what would this look like if we painted? I can see this being useful if you're talking with a seller and trying to help them understand the difference between keeping their walls this color or painting them in real life, helping them understand that this is, this will make a big difference in how your house sells. Uh, or maybe this is one that you add in there again, in your listings and you just say, this is an AI edited image or Here's what's possible. Maybe it's a way for you to make concrete a credit somebody's offering. If you have this carpeting, like let's say, um, 
remove the, let's do this. Let's remove the carpeting and replace it with matching, uh, excuse me, with floors that match the bathroom behind it. Let's say, what if we were to carry those floors in all the way through and we'll see how Nano Banana does this. Uh, here's where we can reimagine what a room looks like. And yeah, it, it kind of guessed. It doesn't have a lot to go on here in the background. And it guessed what this floor would look like. I could change it and make it a different color if we wanted. Uh, like, let's say, um, change the floor color to cherry wood. And people can now try on a house. We, can, we have ways to take a vacant property or an eyesore, and you can make it easier for people who want to buy a home to imagine what it could look like instead. I love this. Okay. Case proven. We've got, and this looks really cool here. It kind of matches the ceiling fans. This color wood, we can match it. Fantastic example. Okay. Here's another use case, which I, I like this one too. So we go in here, we're going to grab, here's a vacant one. We have this other room we've got. So here's another property. This was a vacant living room. And let's say, um, edit this real estate listing photo to add virtual staging, add mid-century modern furniture and light decorations. Okay. Dump this in here and see what this would look like in this room. Again, here's our source image that we're starting with. Nice room. It's vacant. And so we have to use our imagination here. What would it look like if we added some furniture and virtually staged? You're paying money for every one of these individual photos. And man, virtually staged. Fantastic. Now I may say, gosh, I don't want to include a rug. It makes the room too small, maybe. So let's say remove the rug and... um change the couch color to, uh, let's say like a tan leather. Maybe we want something that's going to be a little more, like maybe we don't want this yellow here. I mean, this is again, super cool. The result that it produces and Okay, so it was interesting because it did none of the things that we wanted. It's not perfect. Let's try it again. Well, let's do so let's download this image and let's try uploading it as if it's like a new file. See how it does that. Okay, change the couch to a tan leather mid mo style and remove the rug from the picture. So as you, as you use these tools, you're going to play around with them and discover um, how to finagle them to get what you want. They're, they're not perfect yet, but from just really simple natural language prompts like this, you can get some pretty incredible results. And it may make sense sometimes to open up a new context window and just open, start a new chat over here. Or maybe it makes sense for you to download an image and load it back up in there. And sometimes it just can't do what you want. So you'll play around as you develop some skill with it. Um, here, okay, so it didn't remove the rug, it shrunk the rug, and it did replace our couch here, but we're getting better. I mean, this is still a good image. Uh, let's look at one more use case here. So we've got the vacant house that we've staged now, we've changed the wall colors, and then let's maybe do, do one more, and let's throw in here a picture of a backyard, and let's say, uh, add a modern swimming pool to this real estate listing photo. So here's our source image. We've got a backyard here and it looks out here on some water. This is nice, uh, but it's just kind of plain. It's just, it's just grass. So what could be going on back here? And we live in Houston, Texas. We want to have access to some water in the summertime to cool off. Let's see what would happen with a nice house like this if we put a swimming pool in the backyard. 
and we give a simple language prompt to nano banana using Gemini natively here. You can also do this through AI studio and bada bing, bada boom. It's put in here a pool for us. Now I may want to do some other stuff. This is kind of bland. Like let's take it to the next level and let's say, uh, add some landscaping and a fire pit to the side. I just think it's so cool to go from this and have to try to imagine, you know, I can measure it out to you. It could get even more precise. If you use like a survey image, even, uh, it could work with that type of stuff. And what would it look like now with a swimming pool? Here we go. Uh, it even added in these pavers. I said the modern style, this is super nice and crisp and clean. Let's see what this looks like now with its results. Cool. Here's the fire pit area. Um, let's make a little path that goes with this. Um, include a path and build a pergola over the, um, let's see, let's, let's forget the pergola part. Let's include a path from the fire pit to the, um, lounge chairs. Let's try to think of the word for those. And it's going to generate this for us. And we've got a couple cases now where we can take these amazing sunset photos for each of our listings. Uh, we can come in, we can change wall colors and floor colors to help people imagine things. That's super promising for like flip properties or investment properties to be able to take properties that are on the market or off market and show people what they could look like. Great way to generate some business. Uh, we've taken a way to virtually stage our properties. And then here's another way where what would it look like for us to design a backyard? Great for contracting businesses and great to help our clients imagine what a property could look like if we did certain things to it. It even added the fire here, which is so cool. So this is awesome. Uh, I would want to connect this, of course, some little things you can do. These are not perfect, but man, what a massive time savings and cost savings and something that really just about anybody can do without having to enlist another professional. You can use this stuff for just about all of your listings and get some crazy, crazy valuable results. What do you think about this? I want to know what are your use cases. If you've got some other idea, let me know about this. In the meantime, this is Grant Rothberg in Houston, Texas, signing off for Rothberg Agent Accelerator. See ya.